The play corner strike in the gun bunch in the Georgia offensive playbook is one of the best plays in college football 25. If you want to get my brand new Georgia offensive ebook, it just dropped over on our school community, school.com slash Cody Ballard. 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there. All of the ebooks, all of the updates, any new tips or strategies that we release over there. You get everything for just $10. If you want to sign up, the link's going to be in the description. It's also in my bio on my page. But I want to show you kind of why this play is so good. So the setup for the play here is we're going to be taking advantage of this C route on the left side. What this C route is going to do for us is it's going to pull outside thirds, outside quarter zones. The rest of the route combo we're going to create basically with our hot routes. And essentially what we're going to do is we're going to streak our slot receiver. We're going to post our outside bunch receiver. And for the bomb aspect of this play, pretty much that's all you need to do. You just need to stem this post up to about 15 to 20 yards so that it, it, it doesn't cut too soon. And what you're going to see is if they do run a cover four style of defense here, when he cuts across the field, you're going to see that this is just going to absolutely destroy that cover four coverage. Very easy and very effective cover four beater. Now, the cool part about this, though, is or kind of the negative part about this is that the a user is going to see this and he's obviously just going to go run and guard that. Right. So what we're able to do with our hot routes this year is we're able to put the running back on this Texas pattern. This Texas pattern is super effective for being able to beat man coverage and hold the user in the middle of the field and almost create a slant post concept over the middle. So as you see here, this is gonna be even more open because the user is gonna to have to kind of come underneath and hold on that angle route. If he does go to the top, let's say for example that I'm the middle linebacker, let's say that I do decide, okay, I'm gonna take away the big play. Then you have this Texas route, wide open with all the space to work in the middle of the field and we know how good running backs are in space in this game. Now, what's really cool about this play is this is a, it's a complete money play. It does not just beat cover four, uh, but it also is going to do a really cool job of being able to bomb cover three. So if they do run cover three here, this C route will pull that outside third, and you'll see this will basically just split it right up the middle, and you're going to have a big play against, against that coverage. Now, one little adjustment that you can make for cover two. I do think cover two probably gives you the best chance to defend the bomb aspect of what we're doing here, but there is a lot of things we can do to kind of manipulate cover two over the top. So one of the things that we can do is put that tight end on a stemmed corner and stem him all the way down. What this is gonna do is it's gonna pull this deep half out. You can just throw this over here. As, for, as you see there, we get a big play against that. Another thing that you could do that's really cool with this play is you could take the tight end and you could put him on a wheel route this year and you can actually stem him like basically all the way over here. And so what you're getting is almost like a double post type of wheel route and then you have kind of this combo right here. So what you're able to see is this is gonna pull this deep half basically out of that area and then this throw, and eh, it was kind of like covered I guess. I got kind of super bumped. But basically you, you, could, you could try to throw that uh, as well but the biggest thing here that I did want to also show is that this post route, while you think that this post route might be covered, oftentimes this post can actually get open against the coverage. So you're going to see here, even though the deep half is going to play him, I can just basically rack catch it underneath the deep half, and you see how this is a really, really big play. Now, one of the most common things that your opponent is going to do to try to defend this play is they're going to call their cover three coverage, and they're going to take that, that corner on the left, and they are going to put him in a deep half. So when they do that adjustment, what you're able to do within your reads here is you're going to be able, again, kind of like I said, you can just basically cut it off in front of the deep half, and it's going to be open. But the other thing that you can do, kind of depending a little bit on what they do with their underneath zones, but assuming that they don't put a curl flat, assuming they put like a hard flat over there uh, to try to take away our flat reads, because if they don't do that, we're going to be able to throw flat passes all game long on them. So assuming they kind of do that, then you're going to be able to hit the C route. So you see here, the C route will just become wide open on this coverage, and you're going to get wide open, easy separation against that. If they do run man coverage, I did want to show this because this is literally a total money play for you. Uh, what you're able to do against man is you have a lot of options. The first option and really the best option is this running back Texas route over the middle of the field. If they don't have a yellow zone there or they don't take that away with their user, that's going to be covered. Now, as you saw right there, they kind of took that away with their user or that yellow zone. So what we're able to do if they're doing that to us is we're able to look to this post route. And you'll see here a lot of times this post route will get separation as I get hummed at by Trey Moore. Trey Moore is the best player in the game. Or maybe that was Umozelo. 
Uh, these guys are dogs on Texas. Texas is by far the best defense in the game. But let me uh, let me show you kind of what I'm what I'm trying to get at here. So again, and then we'll talk about the C route too. But first things I want to show is like this post. So you see how he kind of cuts. He beats him on the cut. Actually, kind of sucks to be honest with uh, with a bad route running receiver. If you have a better route running receiver there, that post will be man a little bit better than what you're seeing. But this is where I like to stem corner. So if they are running man coverage on you, this tight end stem is unbumpable. These stem corners, when they get off the jam, are really, really good. Here we'll just throw the running back underneath. We're getting a lot of random bumping in practice mode that you typically don't get in game. So just something to kind of keep in mind with all of this. The other thing I want to show is the C route. I'll try to try to kind of force the C route here. But basically, when he cuts the outside, it's going to be open, as you see. And then the post route normally will be open. I'm playing against like a stud corner. So just kind of keep that in mind. Like I think Muhammad's the best corner on Texas. So and and I and it's going against my worst receiver. But a lot of times this post will just kind of get and you see there he gets a ton of separation. Course practice mode like makes it impossible with the sheds in this game. Even if you zone people out for some reason they still shed in practice mode even though they don't in game. But we'll show this one more time. What you see here, this tight end can get it open. Then you see, yeah. The post route is just kind of getting bumped, oddly. If they're not pressing you, it's going to be a little easier because the post will get a little bit cleaner of a cut. Let's try to um, let's try to get that post open one more time here. And again, I would probably like about about ten to fifteen, somewhere in there. We'll see here. See see that's normally what happens. See how he gets that running animation, and then he's able to kind of explode through the cut. That's what you're looking for. But anyways, this little play here, really good. It can pretty much break down coverage really well. If you guys want to check out my full Georgia offensive ebook, that's going to be linked in the description. Go check out the school community. It has everything that you need to get better at the game. It's also an entire community of people trying to help one another get better at the game. You can ask your questions. We're going to do a live lab session in there as well soon. So make sure that you're a member of the school site. It's, it's linked in the description below.